them I in 8,000 lines, Reba. A humble revision of the wonderful achievement of the late Dr. Edward Kahn's, now of the 21st century. By Richard Babcock. Chapter 4. The Proclamation of Qualities. 1. Relative Value of Tathagatarelics and of Perfect Wisdom. The Lord, if, Kausika, on this one hand you are given this Jambudvipa filled up to the top with relics of the Tathagatas, and if, on this other hand, you could share in a written copy of this perfection of wisdom, and if now you have to choose between the two, which one do you take? Sakra, just this perfection of wisdom, Lord. For I see such as, within my esteem for this guide of Tathagatas, in true understanding this also is the body of Tathagatas. As the Lord says, the Dharma bodies are Buddhas, these are Lords. But of this, noble Sangha, do not think this individual body is my body. Rather, noble Sangha, see me as this accomplishment of Dharma body. But this Tathagata body needs be seen as brought about by the reality limit, i.e. by perfection of wisdom. It is not, O oh Lord, that I lack in respect for these relics of Tathagata. On the contrary, I have a real respect for them. As come forth from perfection of wisdom are these relics of Tathagatas revered, and herein as one reveres just this perfection of wisdom, now also the reverence of these relics of the Tathagata is brought to fulfillment, as the relics of Tathagata come forth from perfection of wisdom. It is as with my own godly seat in Siddharma, the Hall of Gods. As I am seated on it, the gods come to wait on me. But as I am not, the gods, out of respect for me, pay their respect to this seat, circumambulate it, and go away again. For these recall as seated on this seat, Sakra, the chief of gods, demonstrates dharma to gods of the thirty-three. In this same way, perfection of wisdom is the real eminent cause and condition which feeds and reveals all knowledge of Tathagatas. The relics of Tathagatas, on this other hand, are true deposits of all knowledge, but these are neither true conditions, nor reasons for production of such cognition. As the cause of cognition of all-knowingness perfection of wisdom is also revered and concentrated upon through relics of Tathagata. For this reason, of the two lots now mentioned, I choose just this perfection of wisdom. But it is not because I lack in respect for the relics of Tathagata. Even choosing thusly I have real respect for these, for these relics are worshipped as these are pervaded by this perfection of wisdom. And, if I had to choose between a copy of perfection of wisdom on this one side, and even a great trachyliacosm filled to the top with relics of the Tathagata on this other, I still choose just this perfection of wisdom, for the same reasons. For the relics of Tathagata are true deposits of cognition of all-knowingness, but such cognition itself is come forth from perfection of wisdom. So just here, of these two lots I choose just this perfection of wisdom. But it is not due to any lacking in respect for the relics of Tathagata. In choosing thus I have real respect for these. These, however, are worshipped as having come forth from perfection of wisdom, and as such are pervaded by it. 2. Simile of the Wishing Jewel it is like a priceless jewel with the property of preventing beings and ghosts from entering the place it is put. If someone were possessed by a ghost, one only needs to introduce this jewel, and any ghost departs. If someone oppressed by the wind applies this jewel as one's body is inflated, one holds back that wind, and prevents it from getting worse, appeasing it. It has similar effects applied to a body burning with bile, choked with phlegm, or painful as a result of a disease arising from a disorder of the humors. It illuminates the blackest darkness of night. In the heat it cools the spot of earth it is placed. In the cold it warms it. Its presence drives vipers and other noxious animals from districts which are infested with these. If any woman or man is bitten by a viper, one need only show these this jewel, and its sight counteracts that poison and makes it depart. Such are the qualities of this jewel. If one has a boil in the eye, or clouded eyesight, or a disease in the eye, or a cataract, one need only place this jewel on the eyes, and its mere presence removes and appeases these afflictions. Such are its qualities. Placed in water, it dyes the water all through with its own color. Wrapped in a white cloth, and thrown into water, it makes the water white. Equally, as wrapped or bound in a black-blue, or yellow, or red, or crimson cloth, 
or into cloth of any other color, it dyes the water into which it is thrown the color of the cloth. It also clears up any turbidity which may have arisen in the water. Endowed with such qualities is this jewel. Ananda, do these jewels, Kausika, belong to the world of the gods, or to the people of Jambudvipa? Sakra, these are found among the gods. The jewels found among the people of Jambudvipa, on the other hand, are rather coarse and small, and